Thank you for having me over Edie. What was it that you wished to discuss that you could not at the office? Well, as you know, I am a Catholic. I have been having doubts, and have heard that you are an atheist. Could you tell me something about it? Certainly, if you wish. What would you like to know? What is it that you believe in? I know that you do not believe in God. You are correct. I do not. As far as atheism goes, that just about sums it up though. That is all atheism is. As a group, there is no formal belief system. As a group, no. I understand. But tell me about yourself, Lucas. What sorts of things do you believe in? Well, although I am not all that intelligent, I am a man of science. As a believer finds inspiration and or in a god, I find it in nature. When I look up at the sky, and think of everything that is out there, the stars, the planets, the galaxies, and what sorts of beings might be out there, I feel content, and in awe. So, generally speaking, you have replaced God with science? Generally, I guess, yes. There are so many people out there with so many beliefs. The amount of gods believed in throughout history is unfathomable, of course, science itself is not a belief, it is simply a set of rules that this universe is run by. If I had a belief, I would say it is in humanity, and its pursuit of knowledge. There are many questions that remain unanswered by science. These questions, like the origins of life, are answered by God. It is true that some things remain unanswered. This is a temporary problem. But I would not say that a God answers them. Belief in a God just replaces unanswered with unknowable. This is how it has been since the dawn of religion. If something was not understood, a God was created. Why is the lightning? Because Zeus throws it from the heavens. I was taught that God controls nature, and nature, in turn, creates the lightning. Well, if it is lightning you wish to understand, and nature causes it, then why assume a God has anything to do with it? Science explains every step of the process. And what about evolution? I was raised to believe that we all came from Adam and Eve. That story is said to have taken place between four and six thousand years ago. Science has taught us that the planet is billions of years old. In the story of Genesis, Adam and Eve were created within a week of every creature on the planet. It is impossible since there are species far older than that, by millions of years. In that same week, four to six thousand years ago, the planet itself was supposed to have been created. There are aspen trees that are over 80,000 years old. It is still difficult for me to believe in life without a god. It has been a part of me since I was a baby. Is it wrong for me to still believe? No, but please remember that belief in a higher power does not mean you have to choose one. Deists believe in a god with no definition, and no story surrounding it. There are a great many faiths to choose from, and most of them have very similar stories. I was once a pagan. I believed in many gods since monotheism was too unbelievable. Just remember that there is beauty in this world and in the universe. For me, this is enough. Just looking at the stars is enough. For myself, just gazing into the eyes of a beautiful woman is religion enough. That being said, shall we eat? and talk of, um, other things? That sounds wonderful. Thank you for talking about this. Anytime, Edie.